So how many of you guys ever wondered what the heck Weeks and Witchcraft even was? I bet you tried searching more about it and you couldn't find anything about it. Well today we're going to be doing an interview with the creators of Weeks and Witchcraft. We're going to learn more behind the development process so far because it is an unreleased mod. So if you guys are enjoying these interviews where we go against the creators themselves, make sure you smack that like for more interviews coming out. Don't forget to subscribe as well or, well I can't really leak the character yet so yeah just make sure you subscribe. So I'm here here with two out of the six developers for Weeks End Witchcraft mod. We are here with Winleaf, who is the creator, director, and also the writer for the mod. And I'm also here with Marshy Flake, who is the animator and also the voice actor. So starting off with Winleaf, uh, tell us a little about a bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Winleaf. I'm 13 years old, and I'm the creative director and writer for Weeks End Witchcraft. Hi, I'm Marshy. I am a 16-year-old animator and artist. Just been working on my art career since about, like, you know, 7th grade. What was your two reactions when uh, Funky Friday contacted you about adding your exclusive mod demo in? Actually, I contacted Java first. He was super chill with it, like, he was like, sure, we could do it. And then I went and told my team and they went, like, We all lost Hogger. our minds. Yeah, lost our minds, yeah. They, well, they did, and I was like, okay. So what inspired you to make this an um, exclusive mod demo for Funky Friday? Honestly, Funky Friday is it's like a home community for me. Like, I've been there for a long time, ever since the old server, when it was still the Row FNF tournament server. Like, I've been here forever. I remember everything. When I knew I wanted to start making a mod, I just knew I had to share it with them. And also, because of we were making a demo, putting it in Funky Friday would gather more hype because we have very ambitious plans for this mod like not many mods out there have ever done a demo on funky friday so it's really cool seeing your mod you know being able to do that so will the charting be the same as in funky friday or is it going to be a little bit different of course it'll be the same unless Stomp gets picky about something but yeah. honestly will probably have it happen i don't think it will and what inspired you to create the mod itself honestly this started out chart wise and I believe that most Friday Night Funkin' mods were, I'd say the charting is like really terrible <laughs> compared to OSA standards. So I wanted a way to introduce like high quality charting and that's where the mod was born. So I wanted to combine really good stories. So what inspired the witch Halloween theme? It's not Halloween. I can tell you that the mod is supposed to take place like halfway through June, like summer. And also I just think like magic stuff in general is cool and it's like overshadowed by other things. Is Wisteria a witch like the character? Yes, she's a witch. I would say that it's based on Wynn's own OC. Yeah, I drew lots of inspiration from my own character, which I'm slightly guilty about. Um, I'd also say I drew a lot of inspiration from Cookie Run because, like, I religiously play that game and there's so much creative stuff in there. It all, the mod also kind of revolves around like magical flowers and stuff. Since you created a demo for the character Wistera, I'll show like a little bit of a character sheet on the screen so the viewers can take a sneak peek at it, but what inspired the creation of the character? Lots of things, Cookie Run, my own original character, like magic in of itself, like flowers. I just wanted to something to be fresh out of the norm from what we've normally seen for Friday Night Funkin' mods. So how come there's like a tail of fire like at the end of the hat? That's actually a spark and it has to do with like I like to describe it her explosive personality. Oh that's really cool. I like that. That's a really, that's a great touch right there. How did you create her voice? Because it sounds very pleasant especially in the songs. It's actually a tweaked version of an existing Utoloid. Yami Nerani. Basically we took Renri's voice and then we made a sanfon of Cyan made a sanfon of it and then she added some talk box chorus at the lower frequency delay and reverb and you have her voice and I really like how it turned out yeah I do too the name Wisteria does it have a meaning like what does it mean to you Wisteria is actually Wisteria which is a genus of vine flowers purplish vine flowers and I just took that and modified it around it doesn't really have any meaning. Could you go more into depth on how her mood swings can affect her magic? She's a teenager, so she's very moody. And it happens to affect quote-unquote element her magic is. And then when she's happy slash hyper, I'd say like light magic, visible light spectrums and that side of stuff. So what was development like so far? Uh, is it like stressful? Is it kind of disorganized? Or how is it like so far? So, so this is a demo. I will say it's a bit disorganized because uh, I have been on vacation for a lot of time. Yeah. I've been in New Jersey for about a month now. 
and it wouldn't be as disorganized if I didn't forget my drawing tablet. With this Funky Friday, I think it's gonna help with how long it's probably gonna take for this mod to come out now because help boost of our how morale. slow the development has been. Like but I think that people will keep with the mod um, as long as they like it in Funky Friday. Hopefully. So I hope that it stays strong. The one thing he forgot was his drawing tablet, so now the art stuff is all pushed back. Yeah, just don't let it discourage you. You gotta keep moving, you know? Like, one way or another, you gotta keep moving. How did you meet your team? Most of us met in Funky Friday. It started with me and Somf, because I was like, we should make a mod together. And then Somf contacted Zion because they're one of their friends. And then I also contacted Marshy because like, hey, we're doing a mod, do you want to help out? And he's like, sure. Really, Zenith actually referred to us because we were looking for voice actors because we're plan planning voice acting. So which parts have you finished with the mod so far? We finished songs one and two and their hard and dimension charts because they're already in the demo. We finished working on with Sarah's design, her first and second phases. I honestly I want to polish her more as a character and her personality. Sign's done with song 3. Since the art is taking the longest, what would you say was the hardest part during development so far? I like to be very nitpicky. I'm guilty of that. But... She's not joking. She's very nitpicky. I'm very nitpicky. I'm sorry. I want this to be a good mod. Is there gonna actually be voice acting in the mod when it comes out? All cutscenes are going to be voice acted. Any leaks that you'd be willing to share with the viewers? I actually have a bit of song 3 that I'd like to share. Song, yeah, it bangs really hard. Like, the full version is so good. Say I knocked it out of the park with this one, and I'm just praying that song 4 is even better and song 5 is the best. So how many songs or weeks are you planning on adding to the mod? Four songs in the main week, plus a secret song. And then we're also going to plan a bonus week, which is not preset. So, as in, you have an empty week and we'll provide different song, quote unquote, song packs. Maybe on Gabe Banana or somewhere like full of songs and you can like pick and choose what you want to put in the week. So is it gonna be like more characters than just Westera? We're playing, it's more gonna be like, and we're content song ways, we're charts. What are your future plans once you're finished with the mod? Like, are you two currently working on other any other projects? I am working yeah. on two mods currently. So firstly, I have versus Varg, which I, uh, I have, quite a good team for wind is I'm actually in the team also part. and it's like really i love the music we have anthem overload the same guy who did all of the versus masters music working on this mod i also have like some mods that i have in mind maybe a cookie run mod maybe a rec room mod maybe some other crazy mod that i may think about or maybe i'll just go back home to the raw community I definitely want to thank you two for your time. Uh, do you both have any social medias that you'd like to plug in so the viewers can follow on your journeys? We both got Twitters. I have a YouTube channel where I'm planning to upload all of the all the songs and other stuff. I have a YouTube that I'm going to start streaming and just uploading random Friday Night Funk and stuff on. All right, awesome. Well, I definitely want to thank you both for your time on the interview today. No problem. Thank you very much for this. I'm very grateful.